Today we, uh, we showed you a new level from, uh, from quite early in the game. The scenario being uh, as Archeon, you're forced into, a, I guess, an uneasy alliance with uh, one of our new characters, Pavel. He's a red line officer and you have to cross a hostile part of the Moscow wasteland in a bid to reach one of the new station cities, the theater. And where there are rangers? Shit. Shot on filters. You start in this kind of abandoned basement. It's maybe been used by some rangers to, uh, to stash some gear. So you're fortunately able to uh, stock up on a bit more ammunition and, and, and masks and, and step outside. I could use a good watch like yours. You step onto the kind of ruined parapet of this apartment block and get hit by uh, what we hope you thought was a, a fairly spectacular vista. I heard about this place. That plane. The uh, brief sunlight doesn't last too long. We, uh, we show off some of our new dynamic weather effects. You see a bank of cloud rolling in. The rain starts coming down. The wind's buffeting your gun around. And this is one of the new additions that we've uh, added to the, the outdoor environments to, to kind of really um, bring these areas to life. Cover your corner. Slowly now. Check for filters, Archeon. Maybe swap your map, but be quick. This poor bastard won't be needing his. Damn buggers. Ah, I think I'm going to be sick. Throughout the game, we, we wanted to explore Artyom's character a little bit more. Um, I think he was quite an interesting protagonist in, in 2033, and Metro Last Light was, was really our and Dimitri's desire to continue Artyom's story. I've heard these tombs of the dead can mess with your mind, so don't lose it in there, okay? Let's go. A ranger told me this was a sign of my own So you know this is a this is a fairly major landmark within the uh, within the the city, obviously, um, and its uh, its reputation precedes it. Um, one of the things we really wanted to demonstrate in in in, uh, in this demo that that we didn't really focus on last year was the the more ghostly supernatural aspect to Metro, which I think people really enjoyed from the from the first game. The uh, the Moscow Metro is awash with this psychic phenomena, which manifests itself in in all manner of all manner of ways, and Artyom is unique in his ability to be uh, immune to this to a certain extent or if not immune resilient to, to towards it so when he and pavel step into this uh, plane uh, they experience um they experience a, a a kind of joint hallucination told through um the strange juxtaposition of, of past and, and present culminating in a in a flashback that um hopefully scared the living bejesus out of you, uh, particularly anyone who, uh, who actually has to get on a plane immediately after having seen it, as I did once um, and didn't enjoy the experience one bit. Yeah, we would like to scare the player. Um, we would like to unsettle the player, unnerve the player. Um, we'd like the player to feel threatened and vulnerable and lonely and not knowing what's around the next corner and wondering whether they're equipped to deal with around, equipped to deal with what's around the next corner, whatever, whatever that may be. That, that kind of vulnerability is 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 really important for us. You know, you you, you saw the um, you saw some of those, those ghostly figures. Um, we, we kind of reprise some of the uh, some of the effects uh, we use, particularly in the in the level um, ghosts from uh, from Metro 2033. Uh, that supernatural element is is a strong recurring theme throughout the game. Um, and yeah.